Hi guys, it's from Mr. Watson here again with another awesome Blender tutorial. Okay guys, welcome to Blender 4.0. So once you get Blender now, if you don't know how to do that, just head over to blender.org so you can find your way to downloading the Blender current version 4.0. So once you open Blender, this is what you're going to see. General 2D editing sculpting and all this. So general is the one you would want to use because it gives you a general to and set up for you to edit whatever it is or sculpt whatever it is you want to do. Okay, so now, as you mean we've done any project, you're going to see them here. So you can head straight, straight to them if you want to start off from any project you stopped on. Okay, so you have manual tutorial support user guide. You want to check this out if you get any issue and try to donate as well. No bad. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the general. So I'm going to left click on this now. So once you left click on it, you're going to have this default cube. So what you want to do is know how to move this cube you have here. So the key to do that is G. So I'm going to click on G now. And then once you move your mouse, you can now move the cube to any way you want it to be. Let's say I want, to, I want it to be, I'll just left click. And then I have the cube here. So now another thing you need to know is having to constrain the cube on a particular axis if you're trying to move it. Okay, so you can see lines here at the middle of my screen you have the red one you have the green one okay so the red one is x axis and the y one is the y this this green one is y axis not the y one okay so i'm going to select the boss now so let's say i want to move this boss again on one axis so i'll press g now and then y now to move it only on y axis so i'm moving my mouse now and you can see the boss can only move on one axis so this can also be done on the x axis by clicking g and then x again so we can move on only x axis so another thing we need to learn is to deform this cube so that we can actually create something and not just have a cube here so to do that now we are in object mode so you need to know about the edit mode so we'll head straight to the edit mode now so in the edit mode you have vertices and then you have um edges so you can see the edges here and then you have faces okay so to switch over to all these modes here you have the modes options here or the two keys here so this one is vertices, this one is age and then this one is face so you can switch to any of them by just clicking one for the vertices, two for the age and then three for the face so any of the modes you are in that means that is that particular face or that particular age or that particular vertice you can only edit so i mean three which is face mode i can only edit the face so if i press g now you can see only the face of this cube can be deformed so that applies for the age as well okay so let's try to use this now to create four four and let's try to model four that's what i mean by that okay so now i'm going to do that now by extruding out this face now so to extrude that you click e now that's e on your keyboard and then drag out your mouse to extrude out a face now so i'm going to introduce you guys to what is called a loop cut so you can see we have an edge here what if we want to add an, another edge so we can have extra faces here as well so to do that you use the loop cut okay so you can click ctrl r now to have the loop cut so once you click ctrl r you can now left click now to add the loop cut and then you can drag the edge to wherever place you want the edge to be so i want it to be here so we can able to create the four one to create so i'll just left click because i'm okay with where it is now so now let's click on, we are still in edge mode now. So mind you, because we are using edges, the loop cut only works with edges. That is adding extra edge, like I said initially. So we have to move back to face mode by clicking three now. Then I'm going to select the face I have here. And then E again, that will click before to extrude out another face. So once you click E now, it's going to give you an axis perpendicular to the face you have already. So you can then extrude out on one axis. Okay, so now we're going to click on this face now. E again to extrude out. So we'll have our we almost um done with the four so we are going to add an extra face here so left click on this face now left click on this face now and then e again and then it's true out so we'll now have our four so if you see this now so you see we have a simple four so you can try this out it's very very easy so now another wonderful thing in blender is that ctrl z works in blender as well so we can ctrl z z z z z and Z, 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 Z. so make sure you try your own uh, four out again so another thing we want to check out here is the sculpting as well because we have modeling sculpting and animation in blender majorly those are the major niches okay so now we will want to sculpt this now by sculpting is more like molding and then to do that you have to have a lot of faces so that this can be so so malleable so you can mold it in form of a, let's say something that is very soft okay that you can play around with so to do that we'll add a lot of faces to this so to do that now we head over to the modifier tab now so this panel icon you have here is the modifier tab you use it to add modifiers okay so modifiers as the name yes they modify 
the mesh you have there. So I'm going to add a modifier. So I'm going to go over to the generate modifier and then I'm going to add subdivision modifier that's over my cursor there and then left click on it. And then it adds it to the mesh I have here. So you can see extra faces here. So the, the face I have here is no longer the number of faces I had before. Okay, so to increase the number of faces, I can now increase the levels of the subdivision. So I'm going to use my mouse now and left click on the arrow pointing right left click again and then left click again so you can see level is four here so i'm going to do the same for the render now and then you can see an arrow pointing down you use it to apply any modifier you've had like i said modifier modifies meshes so we're going to apply this modifier so it stays permanently so we cannot delete it again like if it was there before we didn't apply we can delete it so now this is now looking like a ball because a lot of faces are in this now so let's head back to the edit mode we used to edit before so you can see now one face that we edited before now has more like hundreds of faces okay so that's by the way so now let's head over to the sculpt mode so in the sculpt mode now you can see the brushes by my light left here all these are used to deform this brush but the one i love using often is the grab brush so let's click g again to use to grab like the same grab in edit mode so with this g now what you just have to do with your mouse or your pen and mouse basically that's what i use for everything so you just left click with your mouse and then drag out so you can see we are now deforming this mesh like as if it's something really soft so you can see how it's working so that's it for the grab brush and these brushes you have here literally does something closer to this grab brush so you just have to try all of them out so like i said before i still love using my control z so let's go back to what we had before just the cube and then without the modifier so that's it for the cube so now the animation i said before okay so now before i head over to the animation i'll have to explain most of all this i have here so all these are like a workspace specialized to the names you have here so this is modeling workspace and then it's going to give you the tools specialized to modeling you have sculpting like i said before sculpting is more like trying to make this mesh look so soft so you can deform it so 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 well okay so that's it about sculpting. So you get the brushes and whatever it is you need to sculpt. So you have UV editing. So here is where you edit textures. And my, don't worry, when you go for that, you understand this one. So you have texture paint. This is where you do your painting on any model you've done. Okay, you have shading and you have animation. So I'm going to be explaining a little bit about animation so you can have little glimpse, glimpse on how it works. So let me head over to the animation workspace. It's actually loading. So a little bit, a little weight, a little weight. So we are in the animation workspace now. So in the animation workspace, you are definitely going to have a timeline because this is animation. Anything animation has a timeline, okay? So this is called the dope sheet and this is more like a timeline now. So now for us to animate this now, we we'll have to add first keyframe if you want to animate it from down to up. If it's from up, we want to move it up. We'll now add our first keyframe. So now I'm going to click I to add a keyframe. I'm going to add location keyframe because I want to move it uh to uh, from one location to another location something like that so i'm gonna drag this keyframe now to any number of frames i want let's just say 60 and then i'm gonna press g now z again and then drag this up to wherever i like somewhere here and then add another keyframe another keyframe so i'll add location again because that's location i added before so now if i play if i take this timeline now to zero you see now it's playing it's doing the same thing i did before so that's it for the animation. So let's say you want to render out what you just did now. So to render that out now, you can see a camera icon here. This signifies the view you have, okay? And then what I mean now is the edit mode or probably the mode for where you do whatever it is you're doing in Blender. So the actual mode of what you're going to see, that's what you're doing is in this render viewport mode. So now I'm going to switch to it now. So you're going to see what it looks like now. So here is where you have your light setup and everything. Okay, so now I'm going to use the camera view now. So with this camera view, you can see that this camera, where it's covering is what is going to actually be rendered. So we'll have to press G now and take this cube to where this camera is because this camera is more like something that captures what you are doing in Blender. So if what you are doing, your cubes, like this cube now is not in this, now it's not going to capture it. So we'll press G now, grab this cube, put it on the camera so it's going to be captured so you can see what it looks like here now so we want to render this to render what we have here now we just have to head over to our let me left click that's press and hold my middle mouse that's the one you used to scroll in your mouse and then drag to the left to bring up this other menu that i don't have here so you can see render here just click on it you can see render image then you render the image and then it's going to render right away
Okay, so here is our render, and then we've rendered our box now. So we can now head over to image now, save as, and then save it with whatever name we like, and then save the image to whatever folder so you should know the folder. And that is it for your first render. Okay, so thanks for watching through and then following this tutorial. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and then subscribe as well for more interesting content like this. So thanks for watching once more. See you guys on my next tutorial.